Hey Queens, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing this spring makeup look. I just had to do some color. I'm going to be diving into numerous of palettes to create this look. Um, thank you for the new subscribers, for the people who just recently subscribed to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you're an oldie but a goodie, um, thank you for sticking with me and let's get into it. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is definitely put some moisturizer on my face. The moisturizer I'm going to be using is the Ula Hendrix Sheer Transformation and Perfecting Moisturizer. I'm almost done with this. This stuff is so nice. Well, it doesn't make me feel really shiny. So, I just like to go in with a little bit and just blend it in. Okay, so for primer, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. I've never featured this primer on my channel before. Um, I've used it before. To me, it makes me it makes my makeup last longer. Before I even like go in with my foundation, I like to let this dry down a little bit and then set it with um, a powder. Okay, so now that I have that on, I'm going to set it with this Laura Mercier powder in the shade Translucent Medium Deep. Now, I don't like to go in with a lot of this because it can turn my foundation to look, I don't know, I feel like it can make me look a little um, red and I don't really like that too much. So, I'm just taking a little bit of that product on a damp sponge and just setting my face. And it's going to give it like a little bit of a light layer of coverage. And this hack is kind of like the TikTok hack. Except for the TikTok hack, you kind of set your um, your moisturizer. Um, I prefer this method better. I just feel like in all in all, it just looks better when the look comes together. And it definitely lasts longer. Okay, so I have that layer on. And for the foundation that I am going to be going in with is going to be the Born to Glow foundation. This to me is like one of the best drugstore foundations that's out there right now. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that product on this e.l.f. brush and just blend it out. So look at that, like that this side is like completely covered um it gives you a hundred percent coverage and i'm literally just tapping it into the skin okay for concealer i'm gonna be going in with this tarte shape tape i recently just got back into tarte i kind of stopped messing with them for a while it was just like when they first came out shape tape was like the best of the best but now so much more has came out so so many different options. Okay, and I'm gonna blend that out with my damp e.l.f. sponge. This concealer dries down very quickly, but it's still movable. Okay, so to set the face, I'm going to be going in with my Sasha Buttercup powder. This is hands down like my favorite powder. I've had it for a long time. It is getting kind of low. I'm going to have to replace it soon. But this has definitely been like the best um, setting powder for me. This was one of the original OG setting powders that I used that I kind of felt like um, that it complemented my skin tone. And that it wasn't super expensive because now these days setting powders are very expensive and I'm just tapping this into my skin and then what I always like to do is just take some setting powder and I do like to bake just the sides of my nose those are the areas I get really 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 oily in and I put some in the corner of my eye because I don't know why my eyes just water sometimes and I don't want it to like mess up all the hard work I did. I decided to put some under the eye since we're about to go straight in with eyeshadow. 
I don't know if you guys want like a brow tutorial. I can do a brow tutorial. I can do an updated brow tutorial. Um, I can do a quick tips and tricks on how to do your brows when you're kind of in a rush because that's normally I'm in a rush, <laughs> especially if I'm doing my makeup before work. It's just a lot of work that goes into that. And lately, that's what I've been doing. I've been pretty much doing my makeup every single morning, except for like eyeshadow looks. I'm gonna do my brows real quick and I'll be right back. I finished with one eye off camera. And the first palette that we're gonna dive into is going to be the Jaclyn Hill 2 palette. And the only shade we are taking out of this palette is this kind of burnt orange shade right here and it's called Homebody. And I literally, um, took that shade on a Morphe M535 brush and I just kind of did packing motions. And now that I have the pigmentation that I want, I'm going to take that same brush and just start buffing this shade out. And I'm literally just doing that by going into little circular motions. Okay, so now that I have that color completely smoked out, I'm going to go in with my um, P. Louise base in number two and cut my crease. Okay, so now that I have that cut, the first shade I'm going to go in with is going to be this um, really, 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 this really pretty gold shade right here. This is a shade out of the Natasha Denona Gold palette. I'm telling you, the shadows are pigmented. It does have a little bit of fallout, but that's why I'm like trying to make sure I keep powder underneath that eye. But other than that, these shadows are bomb. Okay, so now that I have that shade, I'm going to take uh, um, out of the same exact palette, this really darkish green shade, it's like bluish green, and I'm going to put that right next to it. And then pretty much to get these shades blended, I just have to keep going back and forth between each color so that it could be a seamless blend. Okay, so now that I have those colors blended together, I'm gonna dive into the percep I'm gonna dive into the perception palette and take this played out shade to deepen up the outer corner. Okay, so then I'm going to go back in with that um, home body shade and I'm just going to blend out any harsh edges. And for liner, I'm going to go in with this Flash Cat Eye by L'Oreal and I'm just going to do a straight line. Okay, for mascara, I'm going to be using the Fenty Mascara. This stuff is so bomb. If you watch my favorites video, I mentioned it in that, but it definitely works. It's definitely bomb. While I'm letting my lashes dry, I'm going to go right on ahead and do the under eye. So first I'm going to take that home body shade and just kind of smoke it underneath a little bit. I got a little bit of glitter on my under eye, but it's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to use this brown ebony pencil to line my waterline. Jeez, my eyes always water when I do this. No. What I notice is when you put color underneath, it is way better to hold your mirror up. So in that way, you don't have it like all the way down here. Okay, so to bronze up the face, I'm going to be using the Black Radiant Pressed Powder in the shade Ebony. And then for highlighter, I just recently got this, um, I got it in like a gratis box at work. It is the Revlon Skin Lights. This is what it looks like. I've never used it before, but hopefully 
is good. And I'm going to take this Real Techniques brush. And then I'm going to spray my face with the Morphe Mattifying Spray. Okay, so for lip, I'm going to go in with this um, NYX dark, um, dark Brown Pencil and line my lips. And then on top of that, I'm just going to go in with this Milani Gloss. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today's look. Um, as far as my March giveaway, um, the person that I picked did not respond. So yeah, so pretty much what I'm doing is for the month of April, I will be giving away two boxes of makeup. Um, I'm gonna insert the photos here. Um, I talked about the April giveaway very, very thorough in my last video. So if you don't know, which one that is, please go check that video out. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.